You gotta know a day. Today, we're gonna talk about a man named Willem Eindhoven, who won the Nobel Prize for electrocardiography in 1924. I'm gonna talk more about that, but basically he created these devices that he is shown with here. Um, specifically, he created the device, the string galvanometer, and it was used to measure the current in the heart. Now, oh gosh, I love this GIF. It's a great GIF showing what happens in the heart. Uh, yes, we have electrical current in our heart. That's what makes it stay on track and beat. Uh, take special note of what that man is uh, doing. He's got his hands, two hands and a leg, into uh, these buckets that actually had salt in them. The new ECGs are considerably more advanced than this was, uh, but this is how we started out. And take note of those three positions because they're going to come back later. So, as I mentioned, he helped create this ECG, this electrocardiograph. Uh, and it reads out, you've probably seen this before, maybe you used to watch ER, maybe your parents used to watch ER, it's been a long time, Chicago Med, things like this. Um, they have these little readouts uh, that actually read out the current through the heart. Uh, as you can see in this little GIF here, the heart's uh, pump actually corresponds with different parts in the uh, wave here, the P wave, the R wave, uh, and the T wave. Um, he created something called the Eindhoven's Triangle, which is still used today and helps uh, create this little wave. Uh, you hook a lead to the right arm, the left arm, and the left leg, and it creates this inverted equilateral triangle called the Eindhoven's Triangle. And that's how you get the readouts uh, that you get here. Uh, specifically, the QRS complex is used a lot to to diagnose uh, problems in the heart. I mean, you could have too large of a uh, P wave and that may be something in your atria of the heart, the top parts of the heart, or the T wave um, uh, as well. Uh, but really, the part where you get the, the biggest pump in the heart is right there, right after the QRS complex. So it's, it's used to diagnose lots of issues in the heart. So that was Eindhoven. He measured the current in the heart. It is used to diagnose all the time heart issues. If you don't know, the heart's pretty darned important in the body. And uh, without Eindhoven, we would not have nearly in the information that we do now.